Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and today we're looking at Adobe Fresco. Uh, if you haven't seen or heard anything about it, it's Adobe's new app, and it's uh, optimized for touch, kind of uh, very similar to Procreate, and uh, just came out on Monday. And uh, here's my first look at it. I was very excited to test it out. I think you guys are going to like it. Stay tuned. All right, so this is a brand new program out from Adobe called Adobe Fresco. And uh, it came out, I think, yesterday. It does not work on the Surface Pro 7 yet, or the Surface Pro X, which is weird to me that it doesn't work on the Surface Pro 7. I contacted support, um, and they just said it doesn't work yet. So uh, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new document, and we're going to make it the screen size. And create new. All right, and we're going to turn off the artist pad because this is a wonderfully optimized program for um, touch devices. And so far, I really like it. There's certain things I wish that it, it did a little bit better. Uh, and there's probably certain things that it, that it actually does already, and I just don't know how to do it. Like this pixel brush is a little grainier than I would like it. By the way, this is a Surface Stylus. I'm actually going to be doing the rest of this review with the um, Raphael 5 two-button stylus. That's tilt and is magnetic. Um, and I'll put a link in the description for this. So here, and I use this one, just, I, I think it has a better quality line than the Surface Stylus. All right, so here, a little line test, which doesn't really matter because there's smoothing down here. And by what I mean doesn't matter is that um, that's not what this is about. This is with smoothing. It should be off. Smoothing is off. You can see the quality of the line is very nice. And real quickly, just same thing. It's nice here. Um, what I like is the pressure curve is a little better on the Raphael 5. So I can do really nice, soft, light lines and hard lines easier. So let's go ahead and go to the watercolor brush, which I think is probably the most exciting one uh, in this mix. Now, uh, one thing that I really like, uh, you can see it blends with the other strokes, which is so cool, um, is this is just so nicely optimized here. Now I'm using my uh, right hand, and you can see how fast this is, but um, you can actually very easily grab and move these colors with your left hand. And you can do this at the same time that your hand is on the screen. So you don't have to pull the pen up in order to tap these buttons over here, which is wonderful. This is really how um, it should be, uh, which is interesting. Makes me question uh, whether I can color pick at the same time. All right, let's pull the keyboard out and test this. Does Alt actually do anything? Does Control do anything? Does Shift do anything? It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like any of these keyboard shortcuts. Does this program have keyboard shortcuts? Um, app settings, quick export, restore settings, input, top button, eraser, erase with brush. Oh, I like that better. And touch. See, I like this because uh, there's options for tapping the screen. There's a circle right here. I'll show this in just a second. Draw with brush, erase. Yes, that's that's fine. But um, finger settings. I'm not sure what that means. View all touch shortcut settings. Um. Cool. All right, so that's when you're pressing one finger on the screen. Yes, yes. help, touch shortcuts, online help, support. I don't think there's keyboard shortcuts for this program. So here, um, this is painting. When I'm pressing this, this is painting with just water. And you can see up here it's, it's saying pure water. All right, cool. Okay, so this is useless because keyboard shortcuts 
don't work in this program. Even undo. I can't believe that. Okay, two finger tap to undo, tap with three to redo. Okay. All right, so let's get rid of the artist pad and uh, let's get rid of the keyboard. I took the keyboard off. I know you guys can't see that, but. All right, and change color. Uh, I'm curious if I can, and these colors are really beautiful. I mean, look at that. And that is a lovely color blending experience. It reminds me of um, ArtRage, which has excellent, excellent color blending. Okay, so up here, uh, we can also choose oils. So let's choose oil. And we're gonna choose a big, fat oil paint, chunky. That is chunky. Okay, you can't drag out from these. Oh, but it is so fast. This makes me want to make a lot of um, strange sounds. <laughs> it's, it's very fast and uh, extremely satisfying feeling. Uh, drawing with this amount of uh, lag free. I mean, this is extremely quick, and these colors are beautiful. All right, let's pick uh, purple. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right, and let's go back to watercolor. And uh, let's see, back from here, and we'll choose watercolor and wet spatter. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, and this is pure water spatter. You're welcome. I like that. All right, and let's go check out the next brush. Uh, this one is Vector. Very smooth. And uh, erasing the vector. Okay, vector immediately got put onto another layer. Okay, let's go ahead and, oops, make the brush size larger because I would like to erase. It says control, but it's actually, well, it might be control, but it's just undoing or erasing. That is so fast. All right, let's pick a darker color. And I would like the pressure curve to be a little different. So let's go ahead and go to app settings, touch or cut, artboard preview, rotate, flip, size, my document, app settings, input, pressure, medium, firm, and firm. So this should be, I wonder if I can get this uh, more fine tipped. Right, let's just bring this, we're at 46. I mean, that's, that's pretty large actually. All right, three. All right, that's more of what I'm looking for. I'd like to undo normally. Redo, two finger tap. Um, you can use your thumb and this finger to two finger tap as well. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, it doesn't work quite the way that I was thinking it would. And this has uh, your settings down here, basic round, taper. That's kind of what I was looking for. Pressure dynamics. Yes. Basic round. Let's go back and look at velocity dynamics. Okay, let's just put this up. All 
All right, so if I go slow, it stays little. That is a very interesting feel. The line is growing thicker after I go. Mm. All right, so um, this is fun. This is really fun. Um, oh, uh, color picker. Uh, yes, we can pick colors the standard way. Okay, and uh, let's go back to brush, and we'll go to this brush up here. Um, so far, I'm not really a big fan of this pixel brush, live brush, vector brush, by the way. Um, it's just too grainy for me, so let's see if we can fix that. Uh, but quickly, uh, color picker. Uh, hold and you have to drag a little bit. All right, so let's see if I can make this look closer to what I want. It says pencil, good. Uh, basics, comics, dry media. Oh, there's a lot. Uh, let's choose grungy inker. Zoom out and let's choose something darker. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's pretty nice. Okay, and let's put this setting right here, the pressure settings, back to medium. Medium. Seems to be taking a bit to activate the ink on that one. It looks like it's actually just that brush. So let's try that again. Um, Blake pen. All right, um, here is my thoughts. Uh, this is awesome. Really nice, uh, if you already have if you already have um, a subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud, there is no additional charge for this. Otherwise, it is uh, $10 a month. And uh, it's pretty nice. Actually, I mean, 10 bucks a month for this app actually would be okay. I would be all right with that. Uh, however, it's wonderful that it comes with my Creative Cloud and I don't have to pay anything extra for it. It is really, really nice to draw with. All right, Adobe, uh, fantastic job. Very good, very nicely done. All right, you guys, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. If you have questions, uh, feel free to put them in the comments. This is, uh, by the way, running on a Surface Pro 6. This is not my Surface Pro 7. Uh, i7 and on the 6 i5 fanless uh, two-year-old computer it is running lightning fast with no lag at all uh, which is fantastic all right thanks for watching uh, take care and stay creative